can't fall asleep with these stupid rays. Honey, I'm gonna turn the light on. Wake up. What's wrong? Why can't you fall asleep? You know I can't sleep with the rain, honey. It's just too loud for me. I just can't sleep with noises. Um, will you stay up with me? But honey, I have to start my new job tomorrow, remember? What job? Remember? I start my new job tomorrow morning at, like, 6. It's at the World Trade Center. I thought I told you, didn't I? You must have forgotten, but wow, that's such good news. Well, I'm gonna try to fall asleep. And you should get rest too. Good night. Good night, dear. Oh. Oh. It's morning, honey. Wake up. It's 5.30. You have to get to, you have to get to the World Train Center in 30 minutes. Oh, my dog. Um, honey, I'm probably not going to be able to say goodbye, well, because I have to leave in, like, five minutes, because it's a 25-minute drive. So, love you. I'm just going to eat something, and I'll be on my way. Bye. Bye, sweetie. Have a good day at work. I hope his first day goes good. And I better get up too. <sighs> oh, I wonder what I want for breakfast. Well, I'm gonna go lay on the couch. I'm still a little tired. Did I forget anything? Uh, I guess I'll eat now. I'm not feeling as tired as I was. Hmm, yum, a salad. Uh, speaking of salad, I don't think Jason brought his lunch with him to work. Oh, I better go make him, give him a call. up, Jason. Oh, Jason, thank God you picked up. Um, you forgot your lunch at home. You never really made one, so do you want me to bring you up one? Okay, I love you too. What? What's that noise? Jason. <gasps> he hung up. That's not usual. Oh, no. Oh. oh no. Should I call him back? Oh, it's probably just the phones. Maybe some TV will take it off my mind. Let's see, let's go on the news channel. What? What's this? 9-11 is a terrible day. What the heck? Oh my god. That's an airplane going into the World Trade Center. I'm okay. Jason? Jason? It's fine. I, I hope. Oh my god. It says... Another airplane! Oh my god, it hit both towers. What am I gonna do? I have to go down there. No, I can't. It's too risky. Oh no. I'm freaking out. <sighs> I gotta change the channel. Oh my god, it's another breaking news story. Every single channel is showing what happened. I'm confused. How did this happen on the day my husband, the first day he goes to work, is not fair. 9-11-2001 is 
horrible. Why why does it have to happen this year? Why does it have to happen this day? Oh my god. He's gone. That's why the line disconnected. I'll change even if I change the channel watch, it's gonna be the same thing. Same. Same. I have to go call somebody. Hi, Mom. Something horrible happened. Did you hear? Oh my god, you did. And, um, the bad thing is, Jason, it was his first day at work today. He worked, as, he's working there, and he's in the building. The line is connected that I was talking to him on. Cause, and he's gone. Will you come over? Thanks, Mom. Bye. That's horrible. At least she's coming over. Hi, Jenny. You're hanging in there? I'm trying to, Mom. That's my girl. Exactly why I adopted you. <clears throat> I knew that you were a fighter. And honey, don't worry. It's all going to be okay. Okay, sweetie? Okay? Yeah, Mom. It's okay. I'm just upset. I know Jason isn't alive. There's not going to be many survivors. I can tell. Honey, don't say that. Mom! Up to two planes cla crashed into the building. Nobody knows if it was accident or on purpose yet. Do you seriously think there's going to be many survivors? Everybody, every floor above where the planes hit almost has a 0% chance of surviving. It's not fair. Jenny, they have a very high chance of surviving. They just need to know how to get out. I assure you there are probably many emergency exits. It's okay. Jenny, don't worry. I know there is a big chance for them to get out. It's just, it's hard when your husband is in there. And you don't know if he's alive or dead. It's not fair. Hey, um, Jenny, when did, when did, um... Jason start working at the World Trade Center anyway. I sorry if this is a bad question to ask at the moment, but I'm trying to come. That's the sad part, Mom. He started today. Do you know how hard it is when you finally figure out that you're gonna have enough money to pay the bills? <clears throat> and you feel like everything's going right. You're in and you're in love and everything and the next morning it all comes crashing down. Literally. <laughs> Not fair. Oh my god, Jen. He just started today? That's horrible. Don't be sad. You're gonna make me cry too, sweetie. I'm devastated. I'm gonna go to bed. Can you stay here overnight? Anything for you, Jen. Especially now. I'll sleep on the couch. Okay? I'll be in my room. Okay, sweetie. And don't worry, it's sure enough on the news that something will show up. And if he's alive, he'll come home. I'll be on the couch. Oh, the times me and Jason shared were priceless. We've been together since... We've been together since kindergarten. Well, we've been friends since kindergarten, but we dated in, like, starting in sixth grade ever since now, and now we're married, and it feels like all of that has been ripped away from my hands. 
I remember everything. Oh, whoa, I must have been sleeping. Where's Jason? Oh, it was just a dream. Oh, it got pretty dark out. Might as well go to bed. Where's that light? Oh, there it is. There. Ah, oh, sweetie. I'm sleeping. Please go away. Okay, hon. Good night. Good night. Jason. Oh, why do I have to keep dreaming about him? He's gone. I have nothing to remember him by. He took. He doesn't. Um. Oh my god. All I have to remember him by is that stupid ring. Where is it? It's on my nightstand. That ring has so many memories. Uh. Mom! Is there anything new on the news? Oh good sweetie, you're up. Um, I don't know how to tell you this. Tell me what? I probably already know. Jason's not coming home, is he? <sighs> I'm afraid not. He had an instant death. He jumped out of the building. The reason the phone disconnected was because the plane took out the signal. It's okay, sweetie. I know what you're going through. I already cried enough today. I have no tears left. And I know you're strong, and you'll try not to cry in front of me, but please, don't leave it inside of you. Okay? It's okay. He's gone. Mom. On my wedding day. We had vows. My vow. Was that I would never. Ever. Let him out of my sight. In the sight of danger. And I did. I broke a promise. How am I going to live with myself? I'm stupid. I didn't mean for him to end this way. If I was just there, I could have told him. If I knew this was going to happen. Honey, it was a terrorist attack. Nobody knew it was going to happen. Only the people who planned it. It's okay, sweetie. You're okay. 
Just try not to freak out. We'll figure it out. I understand. I cried a lot today before you woke up. We don't have any ashes or body either. I can't even have a piece of him. There's just going to be a tombstone with nothing underneath. Maybe his clothes. Maybe something of his. But never anything like... I just can't take it. He was my only love in my life. I know, sweetie, I know. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. <sighs> he's not there, Mom. He's never here. I know he's here with me, but I can't live without him. He was my life preserver. He made me want to continue on living. Remember in the seventh grade when I became depressed? Well, yeah, we were dating then, and he pulled me up. He saved me from drowning in my depression. I didn't need medication. He was my medication. He was like... I can't live without him, Mom. I hope you understand. Honey, you have to learn to live without some people. Death is comes in various forms and shapes, but there's no telling when it will happen. I realize it's a tough time for you now. You can go see a therapist. You can join causes. Just don't do anything to yourself. Don't take yourself away from me. Okay, fine. Keep living. Don't stop. I won't stop living, Mom. For you. I heard the victims already have a gravesite. I'll be waiting in the car if you want to go. <sighs> I guess I should go. I should. For Jason. <sighs> so this is the gravesite? Oh, you found it. Oh. There's flowers decorated just for him. They usually don't have flowers put there all the time, but for special causes they do. Yeah. I miss you. I'm always going to be with you. Don't let go of me. I won't let go. I can actually see you. Yes, you can. Bye. I'm sorry. Bye. Who are you talking to, Jen? I don't know. I should go home. Bye, Jason. So that's odd. <sighs> Sitting in, in bed with depression is not the best thing. Honey, 
will you please get out of bed? I can't take it seeing you and Ben and depressed for almost a year now. Tomorrow is the year anniversary of what happened. Please be at your husband's gravesite. Jason would appreciate it. If Jason wants me to go, I'll go. But I really don't want to go anywhere without him. I'll be with you. Come on. <sighs> Fine. I'll go if he's there. Thank you. Thank you all for coming to my husband's gravesite. <clears throat> As you all know, it is a one the one year anniversary of not only my husband's death, but of the horrid day of nine eleven. Nobody should suffer from a loss this tragic. Everybody should die from Things like old age, or simply just not wanting to be on earth anymore. Not because someone took their life with an airplane. The terrorists of 9-11 were very cruel, unkind people that none of us can forgive. I'm sure all of you have a memory of this day as much as it has been scarred in my mind forever. Of course, I hear from my husband once in a while and I think I'm crazy. No. His spirit is connecting with me and I love him. He was a very good man. Actually, it was his first day on the job when, well, the day of 9-11. And now, look where we are, a gravesite, because of reasons we couldn't imagine. So I joined causes ever since I came out of my horrible depression that I regret. It doesn't help anyone to stay in bed and cope and feel empathy for people about their losses. You have to take that and turn it around. You have to be grateful that you're still on earth passing along the message and make sure Nobody else gets hurt with the protection of yourself. Thank you all for having me here, and God bless you and your families with your tragic losses also. <sighs> Remember what I said. Just live life and have fun. That's what it's about. Your speech was amazing, honey. You really think so, Mom? I mean, I poured my heart out onto that speech. I didn't even write it. I was just talking to them. And it felt good. I don't want any publicity or fame because of my speech. I want people to know that they're not alone. I suffer through this too, and other people can handle it. I just want people to know that I will help them. I mean, what happened with him? I know he's up there, enjoying heaven. And as long as I know he's safe, I'm safe. And honey, the speech was all over the news. Really? Well, as I said, I don't want any publicity or fame, as long as I'm with 
my husband. He's always going to be here with me, Mom. Yes, sweetie. I'm just glad you can cope with this. Well, I'm, I better run. Love you. I loved the speech you wrote. I have to go now. I'll visit you every single day. You will never be alone. And yes, I'm in heaven. And don't worry. Everything is okay. I'm healthy. And life is great. I hope so, Jason. And I know so. Life could never be better for you while you're in heaven. I love you. Well, good night, Jason. I will love you forever.